<sighs> All right. Um, I'm glad we we uh, we found a way to 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 win that thing. I thought we um, weaved our way through some some challenges, and um, you know I thought it was a really outstanding effort by Kiki. Um, I thought outstanding effort by Caroline, and an outstanding effort by Susha. Those are, I mean, everybody else had their moments, but I thought those three were really the headliners for me. Um, with how they play, how they played, and how they produced, and so um, it's a good way to start. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I certainly felt a little bit added pressure. You don't want to lose the first Sun Sun Belt game ever, um, but uh, I'm glad we we figured out a way to do it. And I thought um, if we cleaned up our play early, I thought we would have we would have ran away with it much much sooner. But um, it is what it is. It's two two teams on full scholarship playing basketball. Yeah, I mean, you mentioned Shusha, and this is, you know, I think at least three really good games in a row for her and um, an all-conference post player coming mm -hmm. in here. Like, you did a good job on her in general. Uh, she really struggled in the first half. Did Was that a focus coming into this one, both, I guess, to get the ball to Shusha and, you know, kind of take it at her? Yeah, uh, we, we, I mean, it was hard. I didn't, I don't ever like, um, I could, like, I didn't know exactly how they would play us, right? So he's shown he's shown some of this denial face guard stuff. He's shown two three zone, which I, I thought was the theory. He's shown a lot of press, so I didn't I didn't want to jam an offensive focus down down our team's throat, so to speak. Um, for for me, it was more of like let's see what they're doing, and then we can adjust from there. The defensively, oh yeah, um, kid's career high is forty one. You know, in a, in a conference tournament game. Um, she scores inside, outside. She gets to the free throw line. Um, yeah, she gave me some nightmares. So that was our that was our main focus. She was one on the list. Two was Aaron Freeman. And but but getting back to Blunt, yeah, I think I think Susha. Um, it wasn't just like the ten and nine is awesome, right? I think that's a that's a that's a great thing for her. I thought she was efficient. Um, but to me, she she just. We kind of, I thought we wore Blunt down a little bit. Having Anna be able to come in, I didn't even throw a third center at her, which I was ready to do if we had foul trouble, but neither of them had foul trouble. Um, so I, I think, I just think Sushi's playing with a lot of confidence right now. Um, and, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm really, I'm proud of her because I do think, to your point, um, you know, Coach Harrow was saying that, that Asia has, has come in runner, of, runner up two years in a row for player of the year in the Sun Belt. Now, I don't know statistically if that's true. Um, but at least that's what he said, and he's been there a couple times. So um, we were ready for that. Um, and I thought we, I thought she did a great job on her and Anna tag teaming, and I thought Caroline did an awesome job on Freeman. Um, you know, two for sixteen with no free throws. You know, it's it's a it's a pretty good day. So I was pleased with both of them. But it wasn't like we're going to jam the ball inside to Susha. It ended up being a, a pretty good option to score because they were face guarding Peyton and Kiki, um, which is which is fine. We we can adapt. Kind of going off Susha, you know, what have you seen from him in these last four or five games after, you know, I think in a three-game stretch she only took ten shots and made one of them, and then since then, you know, it's really starting to come on the offensive end. Um, I just – it's an added confidence, and, and I'll give um, – maybe an added motivation too, right? So you're coming off a game at Hampton where you don't, you don't play that well. Um, your, your competition for minutes plays really well in her debut back – um, that can be met with some fear, um, but I think um, I think we did a good job as a team. I think we did a good job as a staff to really <coughs> just give her confidence that no, like she's she's worked really hard to get where she is. Then you add Eastern Michigan didn't double, they didn't crowd the paint, so she was able to like get a couple early to go. Um, and I think it's like now you got a little extra balance. Now you got a little extra confidence. Now you go to St. Joe's, you play really well. Same idea though, no crowd in the paint. Now they they today I thought they doubled her a little bit, but she was able to make r the right passes out. I just I think confidence is a crazy thing, and I think she she has it right now, and it's it's fun to watch. Um, and the only reason I took her out a little bit more than I I did it up at St. Joe's, I just thought I thought the pace of this game was was crazy early, um, and so I was trying to get them in and out as much as I could, but. Um, I just think confidence, man. I think she she's growing in confidence, and and that's da that's a dangerous thing. Yeah. Then just going off of that, like, how much easier does it make the offense run when she's playing well and, and the, like she has the last few games for you? Yeah. Um, I mean, it takes all the pressure off of, of of P and Kiki, which I think are probably our our 
I think believe they're two leading scorers with Jimmy and Susha being being third and fourth. Um, but it takes the pressure off. And so so now what what I'm what I was trying to explain to Kiki, this is what I really believe, right? So we come out of the blocks and Kiki's on fire. Kiki's averaging 24 a game, right? And so I, th- I believe this. I believe the whole season is a, is the pendulum swinging back and forth, right? So now the pendulum's way over here because like you'd be stupid not to have Kiki Jefferson as like the first, second, third, fourth, fifth priority on your, on your scout report. So now all your focus goes to Kiki. Well, now as it swings back, now Peyton is getting really good looks, okay? Because no one's not as focused on her. Sushi's getting really good looks. Jamia, and so now it's we become more of like a team overall. Now I think. What are you gonna? What's your what's your choice? You're gonna double Susha and and leave somebody else rolling around. Now I think with Kiki, I think the pendulum her her numbers have been down. I think it comes back to her a little bit too, and it's it's like a pick your poison type of thing, if we continue to play um, well, of course. <clears throat> Teased Kiki a little bit when she came here about missing the free throws so she could stay in. Did you know she was close to a triple double when you took her out? Um, I the only reason I did. Um, I was gonna take her. I, I, that's that's a funny. That's funny. Um, I did. I did. I knew she was close, but I didn't know this close, and I didn't know what her numbers were. But my staff was like, "She's close to a triple double." I'm like, "Yeah, that's that's great, man." But like, I'm, <laughs> we got a big game here on Saturday, and she's coming out. I was so pissed she missed the last one because it was. It was like, "Oh, you missing to stay in the game." Um, but but no, I I thought. Um, I was gonna as soon as we got the ball back. If there wasn't, I was gonna call a timeout anyway because I just didn't. I didn't want anything stupid to happen that late in the game. So um, I don't think. I don't think she. I don't. I wonder if she knew. Did she say she knew? She, I, don't think she, I don't think she knew. I, I think it's easy for players now to see their points up there, but you can't see anything else. So, um, but no, it's a, it's funny, Shane. And since you mentioned it, um, you get ODU in here, and I know you've been waiting. I guess a decade. For this one, like just, yeah. um, how big is it to, for your program at this point to get that challenge early in conference schedule because they've been off to a good start too, but also yeah. to resume a rivalry that I know you've wanted to play for a long time. Yeah, and th- and that's um, you know, it, it'll 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 kind of stay there now that now that you know it's inevitable once you join the, the same league together. But um, yeah, it's it's quite different than and I was talking to them post game about you know my first experience with it. Um, what was um, was unbelievable. Um, and I and I hope I hope fans and, and the tradition and the community that have, have seen some of those awesome rivalries will come out and have an added interest in coming to the game. Um, and it's two different teams than than what it was. Don't worry. Um, but yeah, that, it, it's gonna be it's gonna be fun. Um, and, and I I've I've always loved the rivalry regardless of the weight of the game, right? Uh, maybe it's for a championship, maybe it's um, um, they're ranked 11th, right? Maybe we're ranked 23rd, you know, whatever it was. I think regardless, it's, it's a game we should be playing and I'm glad, I'm glad we're, finally, we're finally there. So um, I didn't bother them much about it. It was like, look, enjoy this, wake up tomorrow, we'll close the book on, the, on this deal and then we'll get ready. But um, yeah, I hope we're fired up. I hope we're fired up. They, they won't know the meaning, so I don't wanna, again, I don't wanna shove it to them, um, but yeah, it's an in-state. What's going to be a rivalry, um, and they're and they're good. They're very athletic. I've seen them play a couple of times just from common opponents. They play VCU, um, Hampton, I believe. Maybe I can't remember. One, one of the two. I've seen them somewhere um, just when I'm scouting the other team. So um, it'll be a challenge. I know that. I know that for sure. Uh, do you have any update on Kobe? Is that the- uh, yeah, I mean it's just it's just a sprained ankle, but. Um, I haven't I haven't been given any sort of timetable. Like I woke up this morning thinking she might play. Um, trainer said it's too swollen and she can't. So that's all. That's I was like I'll leave it there for now. Let me let me finish this and I'll probably be able to know in about 20 minutes. Um, I hope she can play though because yeah, I mean for for a kid to to work as hard as she did in the fall without being able to play plays two games <laughs> and then sprains her ankle in practice. Like come on man, can can that kid catch a break? Um, and it's gonna, you know, we're trying to get her back into shape. That's gonna be you know, slowed down too. So I hope, I hope it's short, uh, but I, I don't, I don't know for sure. Sean, what's Steph doing to stay in this um, Good question, Steph. Um, and I'm gonna compare her with Claire um, because I think they know, um, in a sense, they know they're competing with each other. So I don't think this is like a secret, right? But like, Claire is like. I think a little bit more high risk with some of the plays she makes, right? 
Um, and, and also high reward. I think Claire can make four threes. I think Claire can, can um, you know, she throws it off the backboard and lays it in by herself. You know, she does stuff where it's like, oh, my gosh, this kid is unbelievable. Um, and Steph is, like, steady. I know exactly what we're getting from Steph. Um, and, I, and I of course, I wish Steph had made more threes at this point in time. But um, to me, she's solid. I know what I'm getting. I trust what I'm going to get with her. I know she's not going to throw the ball away a whole lot. I know she's going to give me good effort rebounding. Um, and and it, it's to me, it's like she's steady. And, and that, that, that's meaningful. I, I, what I've told Steph from the, from the beginning of this year was, I'm never going to evaluate you on your ability to make shots. I'm going to evaluate you on how you can be our glue. So if she's going to continue to be our glue but not make shots, I can't. To me, that's going against my word of what I've asked her to do. Um, and I think she connects. And I think she's out there. I don't think she's playing selfishly. I think she's, you know, like I think she's, she's being a great teammate. I think she's showing leadership. Um, and I know she wants to play more. Um, but that's, that's part of They all want to play more. Um, to, to me, she's, she's given me a, a security by, be, by just being steady, by just being steady. And I do think she's – I mean, I thought she was going to hit two today, you know. And I, I, don't, I don't think she's going to shoot eight, but I think two for three and stuff like that, I think that w will start to come the more and more – kind of like a sushi situation when the confidence grows. Good. Thank you all. See you Saturday. Bring your friends.